Soul Control, Donny Damon, aka Soul One, aka Nomad, back again bringing you our first soulful review of the action role playing hack and slash absolute game of substance Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order. The third installment of the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series, developed by Kyoe Tecmo's Team Ninja, creators of such games as Ninja Gaiden, Dead or Alive, and Hyrule Warriors, partners with Nintendo to bring us their first Marvel publication for the Switch. Like the previous entries, gameplay is reminiscent of a top-down dungeon crawler, with an emphasis on cooperative play. Unlike the previous entries, however, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order, takes place in a completely different universe. While it draws inspiration from recently released Marvel projects such as Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, this game has been written to reflect its wide cast of characters and stand apart from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the comics, and other popularized versions. Without getting into too many spoilers, the game will have you traveling between a bunch of Marvel's more notable locations. Whether you're in space with the Guardians of the Galaxy, or taking up a class at Xavier's Institute for Gifted Youngsters, or in the Dark Dimension, this game has no shortage of places to kick butt. Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order can be played single player or multiplayer, so whether you want to stomp minions all by yourself, or you want to assemble your own team of Avengers to save the day, this game is nothing short of pure entertainment value. Yo, this costume looks dope. He is huge. My dude you ain't about is to shoot me. so Keep shooting. juiced up. Keep shooting. You ain't gonna shoot me. You can't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. He can't kill you. Yeah. The character roster is pretty extensive, so whether you want to play as Peter Parker, Miles Morales, Miss Marvel, or Venom, you can do it. You can even customize your characters to a absurdly minute degree. Whether it's upgrading all four of each of your hero's special abilities, upgrading each of your hero's stats individually with ISO 8s, or permanently upgrading everyone's stats with an extensive skill tree, you can turn any hero into an unstoppable force. We here at Soul Control love this game. From its robot, robot, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> oh God! From its robust story, to its variety of butt-kicking characters, to its overall enjoyment, I give this game a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten for one simple reason: the cinematic camera. There are some times when you're playing the game and the camera does not work with you in the best ways. It's mildly frustrating, but doesn't detract from the overall game. Oh, what is this? Cinematic as camera. Unnecessary cinematic camera. All right, camera, come on, <laughs> camera. Like, what's going on, camera? The stuff behind the box. Oh no, my back. Whoa, okay. But that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think about the game, if you've played it or not, or whether you want to see us play it some more. Make sure to like this video if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell to make sure that you can always get notifications on cool content like this. We're thinking about doing a lot more review videos, so let us know in the comments what games we should play next and what games we should review for you guys. With that, I'm Donnie Damon, aka Soul One, aka Nomad. I'll see you guys later.